Thessalonia returned to her room and heard the full story, of the incident from Ella I was about to run to the miss, but he suddenly appeared and blew the beasts away, you know? Ella eagerly explained, her eyes shining with admiration the beasts. Salonia inquired yes I guess what the lady said is, true they said that Sir Beast of the Night has terrifying powers, Salonia raised an eyebrow when did the, beast become Sir Beast? But she couldn't be bothered, as Ella continued with excitement anyway. The beasts attacked him several times after that, but he just finished them off with a thick twig. He was holding I see, Salonia replied yes really. If it wasn't for him, uck, just thinking about it makes me dizzy how huh? glad I am that you're safe. Salonia, acknowledged that her life was indeed, saved thanks to the man, though she wasn't, sure if saving her was his intention whether he was a beast or a man, she was exhausted and her, back ached if it wasn't for healing her bones wouldn't, have healed like this she probably would have been bedridden for over a month it was really, really cool, you should have seen it too, Ella said, jumping up with excitement leaving behind Della, who seemed to, be infatuated with their savior, Salonia recalled the conversation she had with the ladies this afternoon the beast of the night had appeared a few months ago and was known as, the demon king they said he was distributing food to the starving and killing criminals, she wondered how he was alive, and why he acted so righteously despite having no memory just then, a knock on the door interrupted her thoughts miss, the duke has returned Salonia immediately went to her father's office you thought I'd just wait and see, she muttered to herself letting him stay in the mansion, was like holding a ticking time bomb he was dangerous didn't he even threaten to burn the house down, father, she greeted Sally, did you thank him properly, Galloway, her father, asked, looking up from his desk you let him stay at the mansion, yes he saved your life, so I have to pay him back he's the main character who's been making a fuss in society these days they say he's the beast of the night, her father said, chuckling at the amazement of young people these days father, since we have expressed our gratitude, how about giving him a reward rather than allowing him to stay at the mansion, Salonia suggested, hoping her father would agree of course, we will pay a reward separately, her father agreed then right now, I'll but it would be better to let him stay at the duke's residence for a while it seems he's wandering because he has no fixed place to stay, her father said, his tone firm Salonia, knowing her father's stubbornness, was stunned father, even if he's a benefactor who saved me, he may be a dangerous person how can such a person Salonia, her father interrupted, his gentle expression turning stern don't forget your duty as a noble if we don't repay this kind of favor, what will happen to the face of the Basin family, but you must also know how to give as much as you have, he insisted, his belief in noblesse oblige unshakable as she pondered what to do, Salonia met her father's resolute gaze after much deliberation, she decided to tell him the truth father, he mmmph Salonia, that person is a, mmmph she struggled, realizing she couldn't speak or write the word demon king her lips wouldn't move, and her hands stiffened as if paralyzed Salonia, are you okay? Galloway asked, concerned by her strange behavior Salonia picked up a fountain pen and tried to write it down dad, please look at this Galloway read aloud the nonsensical scribbles she produced no, that's not it, hmmp, her broken bar Salonia was frustrated she couldn't speak or write the truth Sally, stop joking, Galloway sighed, touching his forehead father, but he had broken bar she couldn't even deny it Sally, he's the benefactor who saved you besides, people's sentiment is now leaning toward that nobleman if we just give him money and send him back, what will people think of our family, Salonia understood immediately it was only natural to give him a reward however, the empire's people would see the Basin family as typical nobles who believed money solved everything what ordinary people wanted was recognition and human to human friendship through this case, her father wanted to show the Basin family's generosity the beast of the night was helping those in need by himself it was a great opportunity if only he wasn't the demon king but she couldn't reveal that he was the demon king something prevented her from doing so I will I'll look over to make sure he's comfortable, she conceded planning to keep an eye on him and get rid of him as soon as possible right nice thought as expected of my daughter, Galloway said, patting her shoulder affectionately Sally, this father has a broken heart today I was afraid that you, who had fallen, 
would never wake up, he confessed, referring to his fear from her previous long unconscious state you can't get hurt anymore you must always take care of your body this father has no one else other than you, he said yes, father, Salonia replied, embracing him even in his warm arms, she wasn't happy because of that demon king at midnight, when everyone was asleep, he stood alone in the large room he had been shown to the pale ivory moonlight filtered through the clouds, illuminating his pale face twisted in pain he gritted his teeth to contain the groans and clenched the window sill, blue veins bulging on his hand as if accustomed to the excruciating pain, he caught his breath, his sharp blue eyes flickering red the woman from earlier came to his mind, confused blue eyes, purple hair reaching her waist red lips contrasting with her pale face she knew about him, though she remained ignorant until the end for that woman spoke to herself, wondering how he was alive when he was dead was I the person she knew dead, is that why everyone doesn't recognize me? It doesn't matter anyway if only I could get my memories back, he thought, intending to stay with this woman, hoping she held clues about his past if she wouldn't talk he would make her anything easily obtained wasn't fun enduring the pain, he finally sat down, leaning against the window today was another terrible night, 